surprising. Since I was born of mixed racial parentage on a plantation in South Carolina, I know my father was white and my mother was black with Cherokee Indian blood. In my memory, there is nothing before that long, dark, dusty trail that seemed to stretch endlessly before us. Shortly after Mama died, my aunt sent for me a box of clothing, letter and train, ticket and clothes, arrived unexpectedly one afternoon. <laughs> was at something of a crossroads. Its reputation flourished during the Prohibition years. It became universally recognized as the preeminent black community in the U.S. Even at eight years old, Eartha knew the train ride north was momentous. And afterwards, she would recall it in detail. How she stared out the window and ate her catfish sandwiches as the rural landscapes of the south were replaced by the cityscapes of the north. The Harlem of the kid arrived in was a mecca for Black American music. The 20s had seen the rise of Louis Armstrong and Bessie Smith, Ma Rainey, and Ethel Waters. And by the early 30s, the great swing bands were holding sway. Thank you. 
Oh! 
Now, the next song I want to do, I wrote back in 1941. It's a song about hard time blues, y'all. You see, I had went down to Fayetteville, South Carolina to visit my mama. And they were singing something a little like this down there. Had nothing, it was a sin and shame. Everybody said hot times to blame. Great God Almighty, folks feeling bad. Lost everything they ever had. Great God Almighty, folks feeling bad. Lost everything they ever had. Now the sun was shining 14 days with no rain. Was all in vain. They had hard, hard, hard times all around. Millberries empty across the country ground. Great God Almighty, folks feeling bad. Lost everything they ever had. Great God Almighty, folks feeling bad. Lost everything they ever had. Now the landlord come around when your rent is due. And if you ain't got his money, he'll take your home from you. He'll take your mule and horse, even take your cow. Yay! He says, get off the land, you know, good no how. Great God Almighty, folks feeling bad, lost everything they ever had. Great God Almighty, folks feeling bad, lost everything they ever had. Great God Almighty, folks feeling bad, lost everything they ever had. Great God Almighty, folks feeling bad, lost everything. his music box twang my woman it is. I watched his hands as they told of love, hatred, sensuous love, and faithless women. His mouth moved as though he was making love to the words he spoke. Yeah. 
happy headed woman. But she's lovely as can be. I don't know about y'all, but at least she is happy. She's a nappy headed woman, but she's lovely as can be. When you agree, yeah, I tell y'all that she's alright. I said she's alright with me. Maybe I will have Thank <laughs> you. 
audition. I encouraged her to audition for the Catherine Dunham Dance Company, who've been having a level of success on Broadway. She auditioned and was accepted. It was 1944, and Catherine Dunham became a major influence on Earth's life. Miss Dunham was putting together a show called Blue Holiday. And at that time, throughout her younger years, that's when she developed that that glower. That would become the central part of the haughty Eartha Kid persona. And now, a young Eartha Kid, along with the Dunham Dance Company, opened off Broadway with Carrie Summer. <laughs> She liked 
to make you think she was a good girl. <laughs> she wanted to portray herself as the Virgin Mary. <laughs> but we all knew better than that. But now, Eartha was one of the stars featured along with Catherine Dunham in the Shango routine.
holds for pictures of diaries, so I and stray dogs inside clear dope. My smile is brilliant. My glance is tender. But I'm not the most for my unspoiled gender. I've been named Miss Wrangle, though I've never touched beer. And I'm the person whom they say, you're sweet, my dear. The only etchings I've seen have been behind glass. And the closest I've been to a bar was at ballet class. <laughs> Dream improper, the girl who's never been kissed. Well, I'm tired of being pure, and I'm not chased. translation, so I chose to stick to the French version. I got halfway through the song. <sighs> and forgot the words. <laughs> so I improvise. I adapted the character of a gold digging sophisticate, turned the song from a hymn to simple joys to the request for expensive joys. This was the point. Eartha Kitt became an intriguing possibility. This was my eureka moment. A Harlem girl who could dance up a storm while singing anything from folk blues to Cuban novelties to German melodrama to a full-fledged artist. One who could do all the above. You had a range of material and a simple and delicate personality. This was the point. Little Eartha became Eartha Kitt, the sophisticated sex kitten who seemed to come from everywhere and nowhere. <laughs> Sissy Bone, 
prices even rise and drop for me. Here he is, truly plays about for me. Thank you. 
sequence treat myself now and then. Perhaps I'll give a little favor to one of my discarded <laughs> You think you can win me and be my special friend? Just take a tip from the other.
Don't you love that silly, slightly soft love for sale? Right. 
and romantic blue. Once I heard a lover, when work was over, strum his creole Thank you. 
we're in love. Yeah. 
You and your pussy cat lips. You and your pussy cat no. Eartha Kitt was one of a kind, both blessed and doomed to be such. But she was not an aberration. She was not really alone. She simply lived her life ahead of her time. She lived at a time when it was illegal in some states for a black person to make love to a white person. And she had tried to rise above it all. She was blacklisted because she spoke up at the White House to Lady Bird Johnson at a women's luncheon. She tried to demand the rights a white woman would have taken for granted. And she got closer than she may have expected. What she did do was to make white America look at a black woman and see her as an individual, an extraordinary individual with her own unique intelligence and sexuality passion and a charm. And if white America soon tired of her, it didn't really matter. She had opened the doors for others to follow, and they did. From Nina Simone to Halle Berry, Bella Fonte to Beyonce, she had shown them the way. She was the most feline of revolutionaries. Can anyone live with Eartha Kitt? That's not for me to decide. That's for someone who decides to live with me to decide. Not for me. But are you willing to compromise within a relationship? To compromise? What is compromising? Compromising for what? Come on! Compromising for what reason? To compromise for what? To compromise. What is compromise? If a man came into your life, wouldn't you want to compromise? <laughs> a man comes into my life and I have to compromise? You must think about that one again. <laughs> a man comes into my life and you have to compromise for what? For what? So what? Our relationship is a relationship that has to be earned, not to compromise for. And I love relationships. I think they're fantastic. They're wonderful. I think they're great. I think there's nothing in the world more beautiful than falling in love. But falling in love for the right reason, falling in love for the right purpose, falling in love, falling in love. When you fall in love, do you always have to compromise about it? Bring it down. Bring it down. <laughs> Just as good, you check off 
my Christmas list. Santa baby, I want a yacht and really that's not a lot. Been an angel dog, yeah, Santa baby. Thank <laughs> you. 